Transport accounts for 25% of the EU's greenhouse gas emissions, of which three quarters are from road transport. To reach climate neutrality, we need to reduce those emissions by 90%. Electric vehicles, or EVs, are the most energy efficient and cleanest way to decarbonize the transport sector. But this massive electrification of vehicles could impact the energy system. If not properly managed, EV charging would require grid reinforcements to cope with the increased demand. But electric vehicles are foremost an opportunity. They can be decentralized energy resources that help the energy system be more efficient by integrating more renewable electricity, reducing European fossil fuel imports and increasing EU energy security. All while rewarding EV users through a reduction of their electricity bills the increase in their self-consumption and financial benefits. How? With smart and bi-directional charging. These functionalities allow the flow of energy to be modulated in intensity, shifted in time, or even reversed. And it has all these benefits. More renewable energy. In Belgium and Germany alone, up to 1.7 terawatt hours of variable renewable energy could be additionally integrated in the power system by 2030 by mitigating curtailment via smart charging. This means enough power for 460,000 households. Reduced need for investments in grid infrastructure. A study from IRENA showed that smart charging could reduce distribution grid investments needed for the uptake of EVs between 40% to 90%. Reduced CO2 emissions. Each EV participating in smart charging can help prevent over 50 kilograms of CO2 emissions through a greater integration of renewables in the grid. Savings for the energy system. The French TSO RTE calculated that 16 million EVs in France by 2035 will lead to system savings of 800 million euros per year with smart charging and 1.1 billion euros per year with bidirectional. Savings for the owners. EV owners would see their electricity bill being reduced up to 100 euros a year thanks to smart charging, while bidirectional could yield up to 1,800 euros a year per vehicle, depending on the location. To harness these benefits, the EU needs to adopt an enabling framework for both smart and bidirectional charging. First, to unlock the flexibility of EVs' batteries, we need all new and renovated public and private normal charging points to support smart charging functionalities and bi-directional when demonstrating a positive socio-economic impact that contributes to system efficiency. This would require as little as 50 euros per charger in additional costs to upgrade from normal to smart functionalities. Second, all buildings where EV chargers are installed, including existing ones, need to be equipped with smart ready functionalities. Bi-directional capabilities should be required where there is an on-site renewable energy generation to increase local system efficiency. Third, we need to break the regulatory and administrative barriers that prevent the rollout of recharging points and the deployment of smart and bi-directional charging. This includes addressing the complexity of grid connection processes and ensure a right to plug, prohibiting double taxation of electricity stored by EVs to ensure that vehicle-to-grid (V2G) can provide flexibility services to the grid. And finally, we should develop financial incentives, such as subsidies or rebate payments, to encourage the active participation of EV users through smart and bidirectional charging. With the right policies and incentives in place, we can step on the right pedal, accelerate the energy transition, and reach our climate objectives through the active participation of all.